So recently we hit 1000 subscribers and I'm really grateful for your support. So I th thought why not make a Q&A video to get to know me better. So I asked you guys for some questions on my Instagram. The first question, where do you live? I currently live in Belgium. Where are you from? So I'm a Tibetan, both of my parents are Tibetan. But I was born in India and we came to Belgium when I was around 13 years old. And since then I've been in Belgium. How old are you? I'm 25. <laughs> What's your zodiac sign? So my birthday is on 15th of February. So that makes me Aquarius. Next question. Who is your inspiration? That's a good question. Who is my inspiration? I'll tell you who I look up to. I look up to Tim Ferriss, how he lives his life. His lifestyle, I really like it. He does his podcast. He does, exper you know, personal development, self-improvement experiments. And then he shares it with us and what he learned from the experience, the challenge. I really like that about him, how he thinks. I like his podcast as well. And another one is Iman Gatsi. He's a young entrepreneur. I really look up to him, especially where he came from. He came from nothing and he built his own success. I really love that about him. And especially his relationship with his mom and how he gives her the best life. And that's something very inspiring and something that I really want to do to my mom. Who else? Hamza, uh, the self-improvement YouTuber. I, I to I've talked about him. He's really authentic with his followers, his subscribers, his audience. You know, you feel the connection with him and it feels like he's really talking to you. I really like that about him. For now, that's, those three are um, the people that come up in my mind. Mm, the next question. How do you deal with your emotions when you feel down about yourself? That's a good question. Obviously, I'm a human being, so I feel down. Everybody has those moments so how I deal with it is when I feel down I would always remember that phrase this too shall pass from stoicism this too shall pass and it really does it's really difficult to you know stay positive when you are feeling down I totally understand that but if you can if you practice your mind to think positively and say that this hard moment, that a tough time you're going through, you will pass eventually, you will feel a little bit better. And the second one, meditating does help. Meditating really helps to be aware of your emotions, your thoughts, so that you can control your thoughts and emotions. It really helps. I have felt that difference after starting meditating. And that's why I, I'm still meditating to this day because I I can feel the difference I can feel the benefits I'm more aware of my emotions and my thoughts that way I can control my emotions and feel when I'm depressed or when I'm feeling angry or I'm thinking negatively or start to judge someone I'm aware of my thoughts and emotions then I can just stop the emotion stop the negativity then start to think positively or not get angry or stop judging someone meditating really helps i highly recommend you to start meditating it does help and think about the phrase this too shall pass and it always pass like going through a tough time it also makes you stronger you learn a lesson from it it's hard to think about this when you are going through the hard time i totally understand that but try Try to keep that in mind. You become stronger, you become wiser, you learn a lesson from it. That's how I do it. What is your ideal woman? That's a good question. What is my ideal woman? I would say someone who has the same life philosophy as me. Who is into self-improvement and living their best life, being their best version of themselves. I think that's very important and someone who is un understandable. Like people in general, I feel like not everybody try to understand the other person, the other point of view. And I think in, when you are with someone, being able to understand the other person is very important. If that other person can understand 
my point of view that's that's a very important thing in a relationship if the other person is healthy that helps uh, i'm trying to build a healthy lifestyle so if she's naturally a healthy person physically but also mentally the most important but mentally healthy positive i would love to have my ideal woman support what i'm striving for the goals that i'm striving for the dreams that i want to achieve and that gives me motivation when i'm going through a tough time that she would help me go through it and support me give me more motivation and and someone that genuinely believes in me and yeah that's about it i think <laughs> next question i'm preparing for my exam and want to wake up early about 5 a.m but it becomes very hard after two or three days how to be consistent please so you want to wake up at 5 a.m it's a habit that you have to build so you're not going to be able to wake up at 5 consistently if you normally just wake up around i don't know eight nine because it's a big difference your body is not used to it so it will be harder to you know keep on waking up at 5 a.m like every habit it takes time why not you just wake up an hour earlier and see how long you can do it and if you can comfortably wake up an hour earlier for a long period of time you can then wake up two hours earlier then three hours then eventually your body will get used to it and waking up at five won't be that difficult and you will be more consistent you cannot expect to wake up at 5 a.m consistently if you are waking up at around 8 9 i don't know 10 it's like a habit that you have to build over time and you have to be patient with it habits are something you don't build overnight it's something that takes weeks months even years to build so don't expect to do it overnight it takes time you have to be patient just try to wake up a little bit earlier day by day a little bit earlier few minutes earlier few hours earlier then eventually you'll get there you, waking up at 5 a.m will be normal for you it will be a part of your routine but i love that you are trying to wake up at 5 a.m you're, you're trying to wake up earlier to be more productive to do better with your exams i love that you asked this question keep on doing it You'll get there. Slowly but surely, you'll get there. Okay? Keep on trying. Let me know how it goes. Next question. What was the thing that made you start this journey? I think you're talking about my YouTube channel. That's a good question. When growing up, I've been inspired and motivated by great individuals. I would watch their YouTube videos, their speeches, their podcasts. That's something I honestly wanted to do my whole life from when i was still a kid i was so like i had something in me like to improve to become a better version of myself and helping others do the same i've been inspired by a lot of youtubers who make content about self-improvement personal development so my goal was already to you know inspire and motivate and help others and all i always wanted to make youtube videos but i was too shy introverted so I wasn't able to do it for a few years, but I thought, what the heck? I want to inspire and motivate people to become a better version of themselves. So why am I being scared, being a scary cat and not facing my fear? So I decided to make this YouTube channel and just face my fear and make my first video. It was really out of my comfort zone, but my bigger goal, my bigger mission in life was to inspire and motivate people. So if I, not, if I don't face my fear, how can I be an example? How can I teach other people to become better if I'm just too scared to face my fears? So that's why I started this YouTube channel so that I can help others inspire and motivate to become better and also to document my journey through my life and just share my thoughts and ideas with you along the way what i've learned from doing challenges just living my life that's why next question how to gain inner confidence how i think about it is you have to build the self-love first it's the self-acceptance as well you know you have to accept your flaws and your strengths and you have to be your 
best hype man. I've said this in a, another video. You gotta be your best hype man. You have to talk more to yourself and have more respect to yourself. But you have to, if you make a, if you make a goal for yourself, you have to do everything you can to achieve it. How I do it is I talk a lot with myself and I would hi hype myself up as well. If I'm about to do something, I would hype myself. I would say I'm this, I'm that, I'm confident. I will nail it. I will crush this, you know, hype myself up. And that gives me more confident, inner confidence. I think it's, it's when you keep promises to yourself. When you say to yourself, I'm going to do this, for example, if you decided to go to the gym tomorrow, tomorrow morning, and if you do that, you will gain more self-confident. You will have more self-respect because you did it. And if you keep on doing that, if you keep on making promises to yourself and keeping it and doing what you say you, you were going to do, you will build that self-confidence, self-love, self-respect. That way you will have that inner confidence. So when you make a promise to yourself, do everything you can to do it. That way you'll build self-respect. The second, you have to care less about what other people think and be your best hype man. You have to talk a lot to yourself. Talk about your feelings. Three, you gotta be able to be aware of your thoughts. If it's negative or, or it's, it's positive, you gotta be able to be aware of it and take more control over your emotions and your thoughts if you can do those three i think you'll build your inner confident i'm still practicing and i'm still learning to build that inner confident and i think it's much better than before uh, i'm feeling more and more confident because i keep i make promises to myself i keep it i talk to myself i'm my best hype man and through meditating through learning to think better i am much better with my emotions and my thoughts so these three things really helps next question who motivates you the most that's easy my mom i have this as my background like she's my greatest motivation i don't like saying this like to my mom but i have it all i have this always in my head like she's my greatest motivation she has been through a lot she came from tibet to india with my dad and they had to work really hard it was a new culture new lifestyle and they had to build everything from ground up and then they came to belgium my mom came first to belgium and she had to do it all over again a new culture new language she didn't go to school or anything so she didn't have the education but still she built everything up from scratch and then she brought me and my dad to Belgium and provided me with this life, this opportunity. So of course, I'm really grateful and I want to give her the best life. That's why I want to work hard. I want to provide her with the best life that she deserves. That's my main motivation, my biggest why, the biggest motivation why I want to work hard and want to achieve, want to become successful so that I can provide her with the best life possible. My mom is my biggest motivation. Next question. What was for you really an eye opener before doing YouTube? I mean, I think there are a lot of things that really opened my eye. I would say how powerful our mind can be. Imagine if you can control your mind fully, 100%. You'll be unstoppable, right? Nobody can get to you. No opinions of other will get to you 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 would not let the opinions of others stop you from doing what you really want to do you won't be shy or be afraid to do and something you will have more confident you will live your best life you know you will just dare to do more and dare to say what you really mean and be your true self that's very fascinating to do think about if you can control your mind if you can fully control your mind i know it's not possible to fully control your mind but i know you can become better at controlling your emotions your mind so yeah that 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 is an eye-opener 
for me. I'm always trying to improve that, improve my control over my mind. So <laughs> the battery is almost dying, so I have to do it fast. The last question, how do you manage to be so ener energetic and smart every day? <laughs> I don't think I'm smart, but I do think I can be energetic because I'm, I'm really excited in the morning when I wake up because like this, this thing that I'm trying to do, you know, sharing my thoughts and ideas, creating content, trying to inspire and motivate others. That really excites me. That really excites me to wake up in the morning to do it. So yeah, that's what gives me uh, energy. So find find your passion. Find something that you're really passionate about. Find something that gives you excitement. Whatever it is and smart. I don't think I'm really that smart, but I do read a lot i do try to learn different topics to expand my knowledge through reading books you know watching movies even watching a movie i try to learn something from it or listening to podcasts watching youtube videos or talking to other people i always try to learn from them you know like i said student of life i always try to learn a lifelong learner that's what i'm trying to be so that's it thank you so much for your questions it's a beautiful day i hope you will enjoy your day and i'll see you in the next video peace